Manchester Day. 2,000 performers coming together to show their creativity and share cultures. Supported by 100 volunteers and watched by an audience of over 70,000. And this is just the tip of Manchester's artistic and cultural iceberg. Most of the floats and performers represent some form of local or community group. Hundreds of them who brighten and enliven life in our neighbourhoods throughout the year. From the smallest projects bringing neighbours together in cooperation and respect to the bigger events, from the Caribbean Carnival to St Patrick's Day, from Diwali and the Mega Mela to St George's Day, from Manchester Art Gallery to the Edge Theatre. All this is what gave us the idea for Manchester's new cultural awards. Before I introduce you to the awards, I want to quickly explain why, when other cities are cutting back on culture, Manchester keeps culture solidly in its vision for the future. The reason? Manchester knows that investing in culture makes our city a better place for all. Why? It's not just that cultural development is key to our growth, but Manchester also understands that culture makes our city and our people better in every sense. As the councillor in charge of culture in this city, I am proud that the council and its partners have been finding new ways to invest in major landmarks in Manchester's cultural life. The Central Library has seen a revamp. The Royal Northern College of Music has completed a refurbishment of its concert hall. Manchester School of Art has opened a new £34 million building, home, a new theatre, five-screen cinema and gallery is now part of our city's cultural furniture. In Manchester, we can fuse all this global success and bring it back home for local benefit. We can harness every hit, each world-class venue, to contribute to our city's future, to pay back our people with the skills, health and well-being, community benefits and personal advantage to enrich themselves and their families in the fullest sense. When home opened its doors, it wasn't a council grant that funded it. It was a service contract, agreeing to bring social benefit to all our communities, especially the disadvantaged and underrepresented. And through its outreach programmes, Home is making sure that as many people as possible have the opportunity to experience cultural activity in our city. When the Whitworth Art Gallery reopened after a £15 million extension and refurbishment, some of the 18,000 members of public that came to see the art and hear the music from Manchester Camerata and the Halle Youth Choir were people living with dementia and disadvantaged children that the gallery work with. Here's what I mean. Deeply embedded within its neighbourhood, The Edge is a local theatre, a thriving community arts centre and a charity, working with homeless people, vulnerable adults and young people, using high quality arts to enrich people's lives. The cafe is a training centre for adults with learning difficulties and it also makes great tea and cake. And so does Miners Community Arts and Music Centre here in Moston. Once a social club for local miners, it's now home to drama classes for local kids, local artists and musicians sharing space with a mental health group and a thriving mini cinema with their own recording studio in the pipeline. Manchester can do all this because Manchester understands how investing in culture could make it a better place for all its residents. How far from diverting cash from people's priority services and problems, culture spending in Manchester is part of the solution. How culture brightens our education provision, builds young people's aspirations and boosts their attainment. How our services are richer thanks to culture embracing health and well-being, building skills, leisure and entertainment. How culture helps us understand our history, what Manchester means to the world and what it means to be part of Manchester. How culture has a vital role helping residents get on, bringing communities together, boosting our creative economy and bringing the full benefits home to people. So that is why I want to introduce you to the new Manchester Culture Awards. From global to national, from city centre to neighbourhood, let's use these awards to shine a spotlight 
on inspiring Manchester people, groups and organisations who use culture to feed Manchester's cultural buzz, to raise Manchester's international profile, spark new ways to think, act and come together, build up neighbourhood identity and pride, achieve, aspire, skill up and teach, contribute to a community's health, well-being and togetherness, involve new people in new ways, boost self-confidence, esteem and ambition.